Hello everyone! So today we are talking about some ceramic pieces that I made in my beginning ceramics class and I've been putting off this video for a while. I had this class last semester but I ended up not liking a lot of the pieces and then I was like I don't really want to do this video and then I was like looking at all of them and I'm like they're pretty cool. I like the idea of kind of like motivating you guys if you're interested in ceramics if it's kind of something you're like ooh that sounds cool then hopefully this video kind of like makes you want to do it too because there are a few pieces that I really do like and I took ceramics in high school so this was not my first attempt at ceramics um, just to get that <laughs> cleared up um, so I'm not the best but I also have some experience ceramics is all just about having fun creating something and there are some like pieces that I do like so I wanted to show you guys all of them kind of talk through it and I did take a lot of footage on my phone and I was like wow I have all this footage I should really <laughs> use it sorry for all of the blabbering let's get on to the first thing so she had like different assignments and the first one was to make some bowls so this is a pinch pot bowl that I made and as you can see it does have a design that I carved into it so it just has like kind of like a henna style um, design with like the flower in the middle and then the kind of like vine of leaves all the way around. I'm very comfortable like doing designs and carving things into ceramics because of my past experience so that part was totally fine. The one thing I wasn't used to was their whole like glazes but I do think it looks interesting and it really looks like worn in if that makes sense. It has a very vintage feel because it is like this um, e foam green. I don't know if it's translating onto camera but it's kind of like a sea foam and then it has all of these brownish specks in it because of the really high temperature that's in the kiln. We had to make like a pinch pot, so this is that. And then we also had to make a slab, so I made this little dish. It could be like a little catch-all dish in comparison to this one. It's a lot smaller. The other thing I don't really like is the bottom because I messed up. It can't have any of like the glaze on the bottom because when it gets fired it has to sit on the kiln shelf so if there's glaze then it would stick. I just didn't do a great application on the bottom which no one's going to see that but I see it. The biggest flop <laughs> was this guy. So um, we had to do coil so pinch, slab, and coil and I hate coil, <laughs> so you have to roll out like, you know when you're a little kid and you play with Play-Doh, you have to roll, roll out like little snake coils and then attach them. So that is what happened here. And then I tried to like make little circular ones and I was trying to make it like in the shape of a moon, but it didn't really work out. Also. I'm not really a fan of this color. Like I said, the, the glazes were just a little bit weird to me. I thought it was going to be red and it turned out green. Okay, so I feel like I should give some background on what the assignment was because if you look at this next piece, you might get really confused. So we were supposed to have kind of like a totem style, like Native Americans. The bottom piece was supposed to be like a self-portrait, but you could interpret that in any way, shape, or form. It is your creative process. And then um, any kind of like symbol that you identify with, mostly an animal. So I did this. <laughs> um, so this is my totem of things. Um, so I took it very broadly. As you can see, my self-portrait doesn't really look like me, but I've always been inspired by this one artist. So I'll leave a link down below to her and all of her work because she's so creative and I'm just like a wannabe at this point. It's almost like gross looking in a way because, you know, it's not the most handsome thing, but I do think it's very interesting and cool. And, um... It was the first time that I ever did eyes, so keep that in mind. <laughs> um, they aren't very realistic or anything like that. I wasn't really looking for that. I was looking for something 
uh, I don't know, unusual. It was basically the first time I ever did a face because I've never done eyes or a nose or a mouth or anything so I was really just making it up as I went along. And then this does open up, whoa! I created a jar style because I thought that would be the easiest way to construct this piece. Um, but it was very difficult, <laughs> so I don't really know if I should have done it a different way or what I could have done instead, but that's what I chose to do. This is also very heavy. And for the top part, I just rolled out a slab, and then I did cut little notches into the side so that I knew like that it was going to sit properly. I guess my favorite part would probably be the inside because it's this really cool, like, purpley color. It might be looking kind of black on camera. Moving along to the rest of it, I love cactuses so I decided to do that. And then I really messed up on the butterfly. So as you can see, he kind of looks matte and that's because I used the wrong type of glaze and um, yeah, he just got kind of messed up and they had to refire him. So that's what he looks like. Next up we did some kind of like dishware so a lot of people did teapots but I'm not into tea I really like mugs and I really liked the idea of making something massive I don't think I would ever actually drink out of these things but it's just cool and I like it so I made these three giant like beer pint kind of looking things so this is the first one um, the biggest thing about this was that I thought they were going to be a lot different in color and I wish I had done like test tiles to see what the coloring would look like. I'm kind of over it at this point where I just like don't care what color it is but at the time when I got it back and I spent so much like energy putting this together and then it wasn't the color that I wanted I was pretty like butthurt. As you guys can see it does have this amazing like crescent moon that I put on it and I love crescent moons personally. And then I added this amazing handle. The only thing is it did get like messed up in the kiln firing. I think it was like touching something else and so that happened. But I do want to sand it down so it isn't so like apparent. And then you might see that this part is like purpley. So I did a base color and then I dripped on the top part this other glaze so that it would give this like dripping effect. The next two pieces are a lot smaller so I just made these guys to kind of like go along with the other one. So I did like this triangle symbol on the front of it and it does have the same kind of like purpley drip effect. It does look kind of cool, like in certain parts it's more matte and then other parts it's shinier. The last one is this eye and it just didn't turn out as well because there was too much glaze. Pretty sure this was the last assignment so we had to make some big vases and we had to do a type of um, carving that's called scraffito where you take a glaze and you paint it before it's fired, you actually etch into it and do different designs. And you fire it and then you fire it again with a clear glaze. I ended up making these two vases that they kind of got messed up and I'll go over why that happened. So this one I was pretty happy about. They are massive, pulled out like a bunch of slab and then formed these cylinders and I wanted them to be pretty skinny. Um, so the first one is kind of like night and this one was supposed to be day. I don't know if you can even really tell. Um, I was super happy with this uh, like kind of design. I really loved the way that the clouds turned out. I was looking at a reference image on uh, Pinterest so this is not my own work. Um, I really loved the way that they did all of the clouds and the moon, so I did use that. And then I just created some little cactuses that are my own work. The problem is, is they were having issues with their clear glaze, and even though I tried to work with it, 
it just ended up turning really cloudy. As you can see right here, this is where the glaze got all stuck together. I think this was the biggest disappointment for me because I spent so much time like etching all of this and making it look that way and then the clear glaze just messed it up. This one received like all of the problems with the glaze so as you can see all on the inside it looks super milky and that's not supposed to happen. So all of that happened, and then in areas, in certain areas, it's like completely unglazed. So I don't know why that happened. I really see that I did like this giant sun on the front of it. It kind of looks like a flower, but it's a sun. And I did scruffito all of the background as well, so I did all of these little circles, and yeah. Just a lot of time and energy to get this. <laughs> I have a few more like random bits that I made because I felt like it. So I made this little bowl and it just has like a rolled over um, kind of like rim, which was totally on accident. I messed up and hit it. And then I was like, oh, I should just like roll over the edge. So I do like it. Um, and then I did add these little handles onto the side and it, it's pretty cool. Some other pieces that I made, I made these little two boxes. This is a weird way to hold it. <laughs> so I made this box and it just has like a little handle. The coolest thing is is that you can add these little decals onto the front of it. I will leave the Etsy shop that I found these from down below, so if you like ceramics and you do ceramics, then you guys can check her out. And the other one, I did do a little circle one, and that's what it looks like, and then I did add a little notch onto the side of it, and yeah. That that is everything. Um, I feel like I've been talking for so long and I'm really tired now. <laughs> I think that there's always going to be room for improvement and I do think I will be taking sculpture again in the future and I really do love the experience of playing with clay and creating something out of nothing. Um, so it's, it's really nice for me to just get my hands dirty and work on something and you know, overall, it doesn't really matter what it looks like. I love the journey of it more than the actual product. And I think once you start worrying about the actual product more than having fun, then that's a problem. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I also work at a ceramic studio and I have a bunch of pieces that I've made in the past. So if you wanted to see like things that I've painted, then leave a comment down below and maybe I'll show you the pieces that I've painted. Sometimes I show them on like Snapchat or my Instagram and stuff. Vanessa is a wolf. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. And until next time, bye!